Welcome everyone to a very special edition of JSA TV and JSA Podcast live on the floor of ITW 2024. My name is Jamie Scott Okataya, and I am so honored to be joined by my fellow TSF ambassadors. We have Simon Vai, Sophie Ann Therese, and Carl Roberts joining me here today to talk about a charity you all need to know about. So Sophie, I'll start with you. Sure. If you could please tell us a little bit about TSF. Absolutely. So Telecom Without Borders, also Telecom Sans Frontières, uh, is actually celebrating their 25th anniversary, which is an incredible achievement. Uh, what does this mean? Telecom Without Borders has been involved in major crisis management mission when it comes to communication. And that has impacted about 150 major crises throughout the world in 80 countries. And most importantly, what it is all about is about the people that it touch. When you reconnect people with their loved one, with the information that they need. And in those 25 years, we've touched about 11 million people. 11 million. And, um, and, and things are changing and evolving and we are touching more and more people every day. And I know, you know, Jimmy and Paul, you can talk about that. Yeah, um, Carl, can you tell us a little bit about some important missions happening around the world as we speak? Yeah, sure. I mean, if we look over the past 12 months, TSF has intervened and helped over 400,000 people, 128 organizations across 15 countries. So a huge achievement. It's a, a regular clip. And unfortunately, state of the world, there's more and more natural and man-made catastrophes, unfortunately, which means that TSF's missions are more and more critical. Once upon a time, you could say that they were one-offs driven by events. But if you look across the world today, we're into the third year of the war in Ukraine. TSF have many teams there helping internally displaced people with connectivity, but also access to vital information, which allows them to get education for their children, get medical supplies, to remote work, and to stay in touch with their loved ones. But beyond Ukraine and the ones, the cases that hit the news, when you look in Latin America, there are huge internal migrations within the continent, people moving from country to country, and TSF supports them as well. And here, they also, apart from providing that, inf that information connectivity, they actually warn them against those people who take advantage of them, people trafficking, people uh, wanting to move from country to country. There are people who advertise on the internet, uh, give us $5,000 and we'll get you to the US. They get warned off by TSF teams who actually vet all the information. That's a vital resource. And then there's the other piece of what TSF does, which is all about digital inclusion. And when you look across what they're doing in, uh, in Madagascar, it's fantastic computer and internet literacy program. So there's that piece as well. And then going back to the, the human side, when you look in Syria, what TSF does to help, especially women refugees, women and children who are very vulnerable and prone to gender-based violence. They have a, they need to go somewhere, they need to be helped, and TSF teams do that. So, unfortunately, the workload is going up and there's an increasing need to support this effort. Well said, well said. And Simon, we were up very early this morning, day two of ITW, uh, to support TSF. There is a fun 5K charity uh, that every year is held on day two morning, uh, sponsored often by Console Connect, as, as was such the case this morning. And we should say um, all this charity goes to TSF. We, we did Absolutely. some good today. Can you tell we us did, a little bit we more? We did, and I think the runners were fantastic. Yep. The sponsors are amazing. Um, we just need more. Um, as Carl and Sophie have just said, you know, Telecom Sans Frontier, we're operating now in uh, Latin America, Central America, Europe, the Middle East, uh, and Africa. Um, you know, and I think it's really important. This is our industry's NGO, this is our industry's charity. Um, 
every company in our industry, and we're blessed to be in this industry, but every company in this industry should be contributing to TSF. So that's, the, you know, that's my key message. No, it um, is. It's a good we, one. <laughs> we, need, we need your support, so yeah. thank you. And, and uh, actually, they're, they're keeping that link open, right? A whole, Fabulous. For a whole another week. So if you missed the 5K and you want an opportunity to support a fellow runner or TSF, um, you can absolutely still go online. And we are starting to work on taking place for 2025. Yeah. So any company who would like to start working with TSF in 2025 can reach out to TSF, uh, reach out to the ambassador and find out what they can do, how the program works, how we actually help them do for the program. There is no work to the people that are supporting us. We're sharing information and we're sharing information about their own effort. And uh, we hope that as we are gearing toward Capacity Europe, we will be able to announce uh, a couple of companies yeah. that have joined the support and all the, uh, all the work that is being done. Yes, absolutely. Work that really requires our full industry support. So it's tsf.org, yeah. making sure that's right. Thank you, everyone, for being incredible yeah. ambassadors to this so are charity. you. We're here because of you. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. You can thank yourself. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And thank you to you. And it's been an honor to, to serve with you. And thank you so much, viewers, yeah. for tuning in to this very special yes. message. Uh, thank you always for your support. Thank you for tuning in. And happy networking. Thank you. Great. Thank you.